What's going on everybody, it is Alex from Everything for iPod, and today I'm bringing you with part two of my Hackintosh build video. Uh, this part we're going to install the power supply, the graphics card, and a few other things, so you're really going to enjoy it, I hope. Um, there will be a part three coming up, so this is part two. Part three will be up in a couple of days, and then we'll get into installing the operating system and doing some finishing touches. It is running behind me, so I have uh, successfully built it, but um, here's the build video that I recorded about a week ago. So I just want to say thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this, and let's just get right into it. Now we are going to go ahead and install the power supply. So flip your case right side up. And uh, we can go ahead and bring this cable back in because it's going to block that up. Grab your power supply. I recommend, if you can, going with a modular one. It's a lot easier to use. I did not get modular. What does modular mean? It means if it's modular, you can take out the cables you don't need. Um, if it's not modular, they're all connected and you just have to deal with it. So, of course, modular is going to be more expensive. But whatever you want to do, go with it. Drop your power supply in fan facing down um, and make sure that the grill and the power port is on the back facing out. Just push it in. We can rotate our case around and uh, we can see that these screw holes one, two, three, and four are lined up. So let's go ahead and screw them in. All right, so the power supply is in and now we want to take all of our cables and run them through this hole right here out on the back um, so we can just get to everything easily. So just take maybe like two or three at a time, start to just route them out through the cable management hole in the back. If you have a um, modular power supply, you won't even have to worry about this step because uh, you won't have any cables connected yet. All right, so once we have that done, we want to go ahead and install our hard drive or our SSD. I'm going to be installing an SSD, um, this one right here. So I'm going to be use my 2.5 inch bay drive, so I'm going to go and un unscrew that. If you don't have it, this is the step where you want to mount your 2.5 inch drive to a 3.5 inch adapter. And if you're using just a standard 3.5 inch drive, look at your case manual to see how that is mounted. And that would go right in here. So uh, here it is. Here's basically what it mounts into. I'm going to take the drive out of the packaging, out of the bag, slide it in. And the drive itself came with its own hardware, so I'm going to grab that. So we're going to install it right here. Um, there'll be holes in the side of the drive that the uh, screws feed into. All right, so that's all mounted. What we want to do is slide that back into place right there. And then go ahead and take our two screws and screw this um, back into place. And our SSD is now installed. All right, so now I'm going to go for the graphics card. So this does take up two slots, so we're going to have to plan accordingly. I'm going to take it out of the packaging right here, peel the little plastic wrap off if you have one that little film. And now we're going to figure out where we're going to mount this. This is a PCI Express, so this is going to go, it's going to go in upside down just like that. And uh, it looks like we will be using this slot right here, and it's going to take up the second and third uh, slot. So just set your card aside and unscrew the two screws or one screw, depending on what your graphics card requires for that slot. Make sure this little cable's out of the way. Slide it into place. Slide this in right here. And yep, just like that, the card is in. And uh, now I'm going to take my screw, put it in place right here. All right, so our graphics card is installed. And now we're going to go for our Wi-Fi card while we're at it. So if you're using a network card, Make sure you have it. I'm going to unscrew that. Slide the card in. And I'm just going to hold the edges of it to guide it. Slide it in just like that. 
And now if we take a look at the back, you'll notice that we now have our graphics card as well as our Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna take the antennas that came with the Wi-Fi card, the networking card. There are three little antennas. I'm just gonna go ahead and feed these in right here. And we are installed. So um, you can, you know, just like a uh, network card, you can fold these however you need them to be. So I'll just leave it like that, and that's my network card. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed part one, I'll link it down in the description. Um, as well as I'll put a link in the description for the entire playlist of all of the Hackintosh videos. So that's going to be the installation videos, the build videos, the unboxings, the overview, just pretty much all the videos in one playlist. I'll link that down in the, in the description as well. If you like this video or it helped you out at all, please give it a like. It really does help me out a lot. And subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. I do have a lot of iPhone 5 coverage coming. Um, and I've actually also got, I, you guys are really going to love this, an entire stack of cases here that I need to review for you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. That's going to be up within the coming days. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. See ya. What's going on, everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod, and today I have an iPhone 5 case review for you. This is the Griffin Reveal case, and it is an awesome case for the iPhone 5, which is really going to show off the amazing design of the phone. Now, the back of this case is made out of a hard, clear plastic.